What's going on guys? Back at you with part two of solving the E12's running issues. But I'm gonna kind of structure this video so that if you're in need of a DIY for a gas tank cleaning, you can watch this anyway. This applies to any old cars. Uh, I'm doing this on my E12 if you guys aren't familiar. But yeah, part two. So you can see here, I have a lot of suspicious items, um, but this is all to clean this tank. So I'm basically following a uh, thing I read online on how to do this. So what I did was go to Home Depot and got eight gallons of muriatic acid. Um, if you've seen Breaking Bad, you know uh, hydrochloric muriatic acid. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't get a uh, red flag at the Home Depot, looking pretty suspicious with that. So I got eight gallons of that. I got like a whole thing of baking soda, gloves, mask, full clothes, a uh, catch basin, and a power washer. So basically the plan of attack here. Um, first off, I gotta get the gas that's still in the tank out of the tank. I'm gonna dump it in there rather than dump it in the freaking yard. So that's gonna go in there. And then the first step is basically take a pressure washer and just pressure wash the inside of this tank and flush all the loose stuff out. And that is my biggest problem is all the loose sediment that's in the bottom of this tank. So uh, I'm gonna try to do some before and after pictures of this thing. So I'm gonna probably flash those in there at random times. But I gotta flush out all that sediment, clean it up inside, let it dry out a little bit. And then after that, I pour half a tank's worth of water and then half a tank's worth of muriatic acid. You mix them one to one, it says. And then what you do is you let it kind of dry out a little bit. And then you want to do a quarter cup of baking soda per two gallons of water and swish it around to neutralize the acid. It says do it six times. So that's, I got six times worth of baking soda in there. And then after that, it says to rinse it out with isopropyl alcohol. But during this whole pandemic, you can't actually get freaking alcohol anywhere, let alone how much I'd need. So I'm going to skip that step and instead use an air compressor and blow it out and dry it. And then we'll check the results. We'll see how it looks. Uh, you only let the muriatic acid in the water solution sit in there for 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'm going to go more towards the 30 minute side of things because this is strong stuff and this will eat through whatever it sits on for too long. So I don't want it to actually eat through the entire gas tank. So I'm gonna make sure I monitor that good so I don't uh, burn a hole in my tank. But yeah, so this is basically the gist of it and what you need. Now we're gonna get this tank way into my backyard to uh, avoid any splashes on the concrete or the cars or whatever. I do not want gasoline, muriatic acid or whatever near any of this stuff. So we're gonna run to the back and then I'll pick up filming back there. So as I drain the uh, tank into here, you can actually see, hopefully on camera, all the residue that is being left from the fuel that is on this and it's all little rust particles. So this gasoline is completely like ruined uh, and that's what I've been shoving into that fuel pump and that filter. Luckily this car has an inline filter so that's been taking the brunt of it. So that thing's probably destroyed and I imagine the pump is pretty blown too. So that's why I ordered both of those last night. So I'm, I'm just gonna start all fresh all over again. But yeah, this uh, I, I knew I should have done this from the start and I'm mad at myself for not doing it. But we're doing it now. Yep, so that is the gasoline. It's completely orange, just like it was when I first drained this tank six months ago. That is all rust that is mixing with the gasoline. So. Time to power wash this bad boy. Maybe you can get a better view now that it's out of, uh, now there's no gasoline in there. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the light and the camera. Maybe a little bit. You can see that's a lot of rust. So we got some work to do. I power washed this thing out pretty good. Lost the attachment for the power washer inside, so it took a little bit to get it out. But right now, basically, I'm just filling the whole tank with hose water. Uh, just one last. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top so it gets any loose debris, and then I'm just gonna empty it, dump it on the ground. 
it just says one last flush and then it's time to hit it with the muriatic acid so it's full to the top of water and you can see as i tip it out it's finally clear so all the loose rust is out all right i got the ppe on face mask goggles gloves full outfit and i got the rain boots on because this stuff is not good for whatever it touches so i'm going to start by putting water in the tank and then i'm going to start adding that as i go in there doing its thing eating away you can see where it's leaking out here I can see it's just sizzling on the outside I gotta do something about that because I don't want it to eat through the outside of the tank but we're gonna let it do its thing that was kind of stressful the, the, the fumes were bad it gave off this vapor I had to make sure not to spill it on myself and stuff so yeah I set a stopwatch for 30 minutes so we're gonna come back out here and check on it maybe you guys can see with the light yeah so it looks really good in there it eliminated almost all of it. There's still a few spots that have a little rust, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't think that stuff is going to be floating around much. So I think I'll call it there. Now it is time to neutralize it. So I got my baking soda. It says a quarter cup per two gallons of water. So I mean, I'm just kind of eyeballing a quarter cup, two gallons. I'm swishing it around, let it sit, and then dump it. Um, do that six times so i got six times worth right here so i'm gonna do all that that's pretty boring swish it around and neutralize it so i did a couple flushes with the baking soda and then i poured probably like half a cup in there and filled the tank all the way i taped off the sending unit hole and filled it all the way up the filler neck so that the entire tank now bottom to top is neutralizing with the baking soda so i'm gonna let that sit for probably 20 minutes or so uh no rush here and then from there, one last flush, and then probably keep on flushing it, flushing it, flushing until I'm positive there's nothing in there. And then I'll get the air compressor, and I'll blow it out and make sure it's dry. And then it will be ready to go back in the car. So now I'm blowing it out with compressed air to dry it inside. Like I said, I don't have isopropyl alcohol to do that, but what I think I'm gonna do is just throw some gas in there and switch that around. That was Kyle's idea, so shout out to Kyle for giving me that idea. But uh, that'd be better than nothing. But if, because if you just leave water in there, it'll rust all immediately. So I'm blowing it out, and I'm gonna throw some gas in there, and then that'll be it for the day. And then I'm gonna throw it back in whenever I get the chance. All right, guys, so that concludes it. Uh, it's end of the night. I blowed it out. I put a little bit of isopropyl in there. I put a little bit of gasoline in there and kept blowing it out. It's still a little damp. So I just hooked up my fan. I'm just going to leave it blowing through. It gives nice ventilation, so I'd imagine that's going to air it out. Uh, I'm going to check on it a little later tonight and see what it looks like. I might pour some gas in it just for it to sit because gasoline in there will be better than uh, just moisture water and stuff. But otherwise, that's uh, the end of the tank. It came out really well. Again, I'll flash some more pictures. So I'm happy. So tomorrow, whenever I get to it, we're going to shove that bad boy back in. And then once I get my new fuel pump and filter, we'll put those in and we'll give it a test crank and we'll see if I fixed my issue. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed.